Hello and welcome to our next topic. This is the level sensor, resistive level sensor. Okay, how it is working. You see, basically we do have we do have a PCB, a printed circuit board. Okay. On one side there are two it looks a little bit like a fork or whatever. However, there are two there are two different things yeah every second every second copper thing is connected to each other and the, the other second copper thing is also also connected all to each other so basically there are two two poles yeah and how this is working is simple this is working we just measure the resistance between one and the other okay so there is also a resistor on there it's nothing more than this than the measurement with the potentiometer we have done or the light measurement or or the, the, the brightness measurement or the temperature measurement with the NTC as you remember this functions ex exactly the same way the thing is that if it is then covered by some liquid yeah? And this liquid needs to be, if it's not covered by liquid, there is no connection between the two. And if it's covered by a conductive liquid, okay, water is conductive enough, yeah? then there is a resistance. And the more, the bigger the part, the share of the sensor which is covered, the better, the lower is the resistance, because the better the Electrons get from one side to the other because there's simply more room for them. This is how this thing is working. We do have three connectors. There is plus and minus, 5 volt, ground, and there's S, the signal. This is the analog output which we have to measure with our Arduino. And that's it. Yeah? Nothing more, nothing less. One thing needs to be mentioned. One thing needs to be mentioned. This is a brand new sensor. Yeah? Once it is used, it looks like this. You see, every second is not that shiny anymore. Why is this? Because basically, uh, the conductive liquid, yeah, it's basically ionized. Yeah, so the ions which transport transport the the electricity, and these ions, they are these are atoms. So there is material which is transported, and you can see that the copper things are getting dissolved with over time. Yeah, that's an issue with such kind of sensors. Yeah, it, they, simp they simply will go away. Dissolve. Dissolve in the liquid which is covering them because it's ionic current. And then of course there's another there is another uh, resistance anyway. And this causing a drift on this type of sensors. Okay. But let's come to the hardware setup. Basically, we just need four. things again plus minus signal plus minus signal plus is white minus is black and signal is gray in this case there's my Arduino plus and minus plus is going to plus 5 volt minus is going to ground and the signal is going to analog input 0 okay. I again have the issue with the cable. Is it covered? Yes, it is covered. Plug it in. Bim bim. We are ready to go. Okay? We are ready to go and see what we can read out of this sensor. There is even a light on it. Everywhere has to be a light on.
Of course, we start again by saving it on the proper name. This time we are at 37. I'll call it level. Good. Define level in, and that's analog input zero. However, I don't really need much things here. And I will just write here zero dot begin nine thousand six hundred. Use the right bracket hands, and then I start to measure. Yeah. What do I measure? I do measure uh, integer. Anna in, analog read, analog read from this sensor. And as you remember, we are reading here values between 0 and 1023. Yeah. And I will just 0.print input. Just want to write it out in 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 in, in percent yeah? zero dot print. Now I do something which is called cast, a type cast, yeah? because I do want to have this as floating point value. So I can simply say float and use Anna in, and then suddenly Anna in is transferred into a float, yeah? and then I will divide by 10.23 because then I have it in percent huh? and I want to have it with two digits this is how this is written and then I need a print line percent okay and not to that I'm not printing out too much I will simply delay that's all. It's basically just reading in, just reading in an analog input. Yeah. Let's see what this is doing. Zero percent. Okay. Now I'm touching this. I am now with my finger. I will simulate some liquid. Uh huh, zero dot eight percent. Yeah, now I cover more. Three percent, four percent. It really seems to work. Yeah. Then there is the rest of my finger. Now I just use here my drinking glass. Now I have wet fingers. Yeah, from and see if this is. Oh, 20%, uh, 25%. So with wet fingers, it's the conduction is much better. Yeah? And now I let it go and you see it stays at 24%. Why? Because there are drips on it. Yeah? Let's make it a little, a little bit bigger yeah? or even very big. You, you see there are some drops on it and these are enough that we are, we can read it. Yeah? So, for instance, if we want to distinguish if it's raining or not, we can simply place something like this. Yeah? And if we are above a certain value on our reading, yeah, then we say, oh, there are raindrops, there are raindrops, we have to close the window or whatever. Yeah? We have to react on this. Yeah? Or pull in the Marquise, I don't know, the sun sunroof, yeah. or close close in the, on the door in the in in a car close the sunroof, yeah, or turn on the wiper, something like that. Then the wiper 
the wiper is turned on, it will wipe off from here. And it's it is decreased, yeah, as you see. Yeah. And then we can wipe it dry again. We can wait until this is this is uh, dry. Then we should get below, or we can wipe it dry. Then we are at zero again. Yeah. This is just tissue. So once again, I will make a drip on it with some water simply. I will make a little bit more drips on it. You see, we are 30% now. Just take a look how they are looking, the drips. You see, they are on there. Yeah. And this is how this is working. Yeah. Like I said, the only issue we really have with this type, this type is that we are dissolving this. Yeah. Here again, the comparison between those two. Yeah. We are dissolving this. Maybe you can come up with a solution okay, how to minimize this dissolving. Okay. How to minimize this dissolving. This would be interesting. And to, to show you how fast this is really going. This was, was a brand new sensor, right? This was a brand new sensor. And now look at it. There are already some marks. These few minutes left already marks on our new sensor. So there must be a solution because this thing, this is really, this is used in reality. But of course, you see, they are, they are not very intense. Yeah? And only there, if you look at the, at the angle, but they are there. There must be a solution for this. Yeah? Think about what might be the solution. This is the task. Ooh, again, ghost in the machinery you have seen moved. So think about this. Yeah? There is a solution. There is a solution. Come up with a solution. Since I cannot show you the solution because it pretty much looks the same, yeah? this is it for this time. Yeah? Next time we are going to talk about a peer sensor, yeah? movement sensor. We'll learn how this is working and how we can incorporate this in our Arduino device. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.